welcome back to Haley's Horticultural Happenings. And since it is spring, today I'm going to be talking about the very aptly named Spring Beauty. This is a really cute wildflower that you can find in a lot of open prairies in the springtime. And it's really cool for a lot of reasons. Stay tuned to find out why. As you can see here, we have an adorable little Spring Beauty. Uh, Claytonia virginica, the scientific name, actually comes from the name of the botanist that discovered it. His name was John Clayton, and he originally found them in Virginia, but they can be found in several parts of the United States. This one here is in East Texas. So here we have this one, but you can see that there are also several others growing in this field. Now, unfortunately, there's not as many as there normally are because someone just came through and mowed the park, but we still have these little guys. What's really cool is that pretty much the entire plant is edible. Now it's mostly known for its tuber under the ground that is similar to a small potato. It has a lot of the same properties, uh, taste and texture wise, they're just smaller. But you can also eat everything above the corm, that is the ground like tuber portion. So you can eat the stem, you can eat the leaves, and you can even eat the petals. A lot of people have been known to cook the leaves with salt water, but the leaves are not that great and the upper portions do not taste as good as the below portion, which I will try and dig some up and take them home and show you guys. So I was digging one up and I just wanted to show you guys what an intact plant looks like. So here we have the entire thing. You can see the flower, the leaves, the stem, and down here the bulb. This little tuber, so normally the best time to harvest is in the fall uh, because that's when the bulbs are going to be, you know, biggest. Right now, this bulb is dedicating its energy to generating this flower and the rest of the plant. So it's not going to be as good. So it's best if you can look for them in the fall or the very early spring when you first see the signs of these guys sprouting. But that makes them a lot harder to find uh, because they don't have the flower out to identify it. So you'd have to know where they were buried and planted in order to do that. So for this, I'm just going to show you guys uh, them dug up in the spring. Keep in mind that this is a really small tuber. They're typically a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find some larger ones because uh, they can definitely be bigger than this. But that's what the whole plant looks like in case you guys were wondering. So here I have some of the corms that I have brought back and these are unpeeled and still left with their skin and roots and these have been peeled and washed. So you can eat these raw or you can cook them like a potato and you can boil them, you can mash them, do whatever. I highly recommend peeling them because the last time I tried to prepare these, I did not peel them and it tasted like I was eating dirty mashed potatoes. So highly recommend to peel them. Enjoy. Thanks for staying tuned. I hope you guys learned a little something about Claytonia virginica or the spring beauty. Um, as an exit note, I just want to point out that you shouldn't go out into a field and completely take all of the spring beauties that you find because it could be involved in habitat destruction and if everybody went out and started harvesting these like crazy, there could be none left. So just moderate your rations. It's a really fun thing to go try like a little experiment every now and again. I've personally only dug them up twice in my life. so. Please just be careful with the amount that you go take and with the damage that you do to the landscape surrounding it um, because they're not always going to be there. So please just go and be careful of your environment. But other than that, enjoy.